Yes, we're going to be looking at the definition called maximal planar. And uh, maximal planar is basically a boundary case planar graph because if you had to add another edge to the graph, and if the graph then becomes non-planar, then the original graph was maximal planar. So if you add an edge and the graph becomes non-planar, then the original graph is maximal planar. Okay, and if we go ahead and write that in like mathematical terms, if for any uv not an element of the edge set, uv not an element of the edge set, then g plus uv becomes non-planar. So if we have to look at this example here, this is not a maximal planar graph. Why? Because you could add an edge there, and you could even add an edge there kind of situation. And only once you've added those two edges do you have a situation where adding an additional edge will cause a crossing to occur. Okay, so again, maximal planar is if you add an edge, and if by adding that edge your graph becomes non-planar, then the original graph is maximal planar. Okay, so now I'm going to look at a theorem which basically gives us some information about planar graphs. So the idea is let G be a planar graph. And if it is maximal planar, so if G is maximal planar, then the size of G is equal to 3 times the order of G minus 6. Now, to prove this, we're going to prove it directly, and we're going to prove it using things that we know and things that we can investigate to learn. So the first thing we're going to do is going to be like, well, the whole idea behind this is we want to get this equation. So do we know any theorems to do with planar graphs that incorporate the size in their you know, actual formulas. And we do. So we know, you know, Euler's formula, where we have the order of G minus the size of G plus the number of regions of G is equal to 2. We also know from the first theorem of planar graphs, the first theorem of planar graphs, that the sum of the degrees of the regions is equal to two times the size of G. So we have two things that we definitely know. But neither of those breaks us down to specifically maximal planar. So remember the idea is specifically maximal planar right now. But if we're going to investigate maximal planar graphs, so say let's just go have a look at a maximal planar graph, for example. So we have this here. How many regions do we have? We have one, we have two, we have three, and then we have four regions. What are the degrees of those regions? So let's just go R1, R2, R3, and R4. So the degree of R1 is equal to 3. The degree of R2 is equal to 3. The degree of R3 is equal to 3, and the degree of R4 is equal to 3. How do we go about getting that? So let's just go to R1, it's here, to there, to there, to there kind of a situation. And for R2, you know, it's there, to there, to there, to there kind of a situation. And you can do it all for the rest of them. And one of the things you're going to notice for all maximal planar graphs, all your regions are going to have degree 3. So we now have something that can actually, you know, fit the maximal planar definition and go into the formulas that we know. And that is our, form, our first theorem of planar graphs. So we can rewrite the sum of the degrees as, you know, you have all your different degree regions, so you have R1 plus 
well, let's do this properly. We have the degree of R1 plus the degree of R2 plus the degree of R3 plus etc 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 and that all equal to 3 plus 3 plus 3 etc. So the sum of the degrees is going to be 3 times the number of regions that you have. So let's actually not call it R, let's actually call it the number of regions of G. And that is fitting our definition of maximal planar, and the others are just fitting our definition of planar. But now we can utilize that. So we can now manipulate the two formulas that we have with at least one thing that specifically describes a maximal planar graph to try and get a formula that says that the size of G is equal to 3 times the order of G minus 6. So we're going to start off with the first theorem of planar graphs, and we say, okay, well, we know the sum of the degrees of the regions in a maximal planar graph is three times the number of regions. Okay? Then we can say, we can go on from there. However, we know that the sum of the degrees of the regions, Ri, I, let's be thorough here, is equal to two times the size of G from our first theorem of planar graphs. So we now have, you know, that three times the number of regions of G is equal to two times the size of G. So at the moment, we have that the number of regions of G is now equal to two times the size of G divided by three. And this is, again, specific to your maximal planar because it comes from, you know, a very specific thing to do with maximal planar graphs. Now we can substitute in the number of regions of G into our Euler's formula. So let's go ahead and do that. So if we go ahead and do that, we can basically have that the order of G minus the size of G plus, and we're going to substitute in this here, 2 times the size of G divided by 3 is equal to 2. And what we can do is we can say 3 the order of G minus 3 times the size of G plus 2 times the size of G is equal to 6. And then we can say, okay, well, minus 3 plus 2 gives you minus size. So, and if we have minus size, so let's just write that out. I know we can do it all in one, but let's just do it in steps. The size of G is equal to 6. We can now take the size of G across and the 6 across the other side. So we get the size of G is equal to 3 times the order of G minus 6. And that is the end of the proof. Now, obviously, in your notes, we have it structured better. This was, again, to just explain to you where everything is coming from and how you can go about looking at it. So a brief run through again. We have let G be a planar graph. And I left out the word graph there. And then if G is maximal planar, then the size of G is equal to 3 times the order of G minus 6. So then we're like, OK, how do we prove this? So what do we know? So we want size of G is equal to 3 times the order of G minus 6. What do we know about planar graphs is we know Euler's formula, and we know the first theorem of planar graphs. So we wrote those down, and we're like, okay, so we have those, but those fit for all planar graphs. So that doesn't really help us. So then we're like, okay, are there any specific characteristics about maximal planar graphs that we know? So we go investigate some maximal planar graphs to go have a look at all these cases. We know that the size and the orders, you know, can change around and stuff like that. So we think, okay, what about the regions and the degrees of the regions? So we go investigate that and we see, hey, the degrees of the regions are equal to three. And then we utilize that, that characteristic of maximum planar graphs into our formula. So that's what we do there with the sum of the degrees of the regions is equal to three times the number of regions of G. And then we're like, okay, now we can actually use the first theorem of planar graphs with the very specific information about maximal planar graphs to give us that the number of regions of G is equal to two times the size of the graph divided by three. And then we can put it into Euler's formula, which, you know, says that the order of G minus the size of G plus the number of regions is equal to two. In other words, the Euler's characteristic of a planar graph is equal to two. 
And then we can just rearrange the formula so that we have the size of G is equal to 3 times the order of G minus 6. And that is it.